Hey! Look, we finally got wall art. Well, you can't even see the rest of the painting, but just know that it's cute. That's all you need to know. Okay. Hey, hey, Corillo. I'm Nemesis. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. All right, so before we get sort of sorted, as per usual, let's talk about some of the moments. Woo! What is it with like freaking singers right now working like they've never worked before? Like rent is due. And that includes um, this artist that I have gotten into because the internet keeps shoving him down my throat. And his name is Fade. It was just a matter of time until I got into the Fade bandwagon. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? And what has been the bob that I've put on repeat over and over and over and don't seem to get tired of? Feliz cumpleaños, Fade show, obviamente. I like him. He's all right. Okay, let's carry on. <laughs> All right. So as you saw by the title of today's video, today we're gonna have a fun, quirky little time together. Trying out, reviewing, testing out new products that have hit the market as of recent for hair. Obviously, that's what my channel is about. So yeah, everything that we're gonna use today, all the way from products to tools, will be new, or at least new-ish. So let's get started. <laughs> okay, first things first, as you can see, um, I'm wearing my nasty little oily bun. So I have to go wash this, of course, to get this started. And I will be using the first set of new products. So this is the new Ceremonia deep moisture shampoo and conditioner. If you've been a user of Ceremonia products, you know that they already had a shampoo and conditioner that looked almost exactly like this, but they reformulated their original shampoo and conditioner to come up with two new formulas. They have this one, which is for thick hair, as you can see there on the label. Hello, there we go. And they also have one for fine hair, which is super cool. I've actually already used these. I already love them. They're very, very similar to their original formula. Just, you can definitely feel that there's more moisture. The consistency is a bit thicker on both the shampoo and the conditioner. The scent is still the same, we love. So I will go wash my hair with these. I will not bring you into the shower because girl, we know what washing your hair looks like already. We don't need to see that. So I will I will come back. Give me one second. <laughs> eh, hey, we're back. Hair is washed. We're it's squeaky clean. It's, it's squeaky clean. All right, let me take this down because actually this towel is new in my life. It's not new in the market, but and I want to talk about it. Okay, so this towel, right? This is from the brand, bitch, I don't know, Akis? <laughs> Aquis, I don't know how to pronounce this. Is it Aquis? Is it Aquis? Anyways, this brand is sold at Sephora. This towel is honestly kind of incredible. Look how much water it absorbed. Like my hair is practically dry at this point. I need to re-wet it. This towel is so good, bro. It's enormous, first of all. And as you saw, it had like the little twist. You can put this in the front, like I, how I had it, or you can put it in the back. The material of this towel is very unique. It's not like any other of my microfiber towels that I have, which are a little bit like fluffier or softer. This material is a little, it's not fluffy, but it's incredibly soft. It's so ridiculously absorbing. Look at all the water. It's honestly my favorite towel right now. Now, here's the catch. It's $50. That is insane. So listen, I got this gifted to me. If I would've just seen it in Sephora and seen the price tag, I would've kept walking because $15 it's actually demonic, but is it an absolutely beautiful product? Does it work 100% how it says it should work? Yes, like it has five-star reviews. Like it's a great towel. I'm not telling you to go run and buy it, but I know that the Sephora sale is coming up. And if you want to treat yourself to like the towel, you know, like the one towel that you would use on every wash day, listen, go treat yourself if you want. I'm not saying that you have to, baby. I'm not saying that you have to. Let's continue. Actually, before we even continue, Continue. Let me re-wet my hair because it's like fully dry. What the fuck? Okay, now we're ready to go. <laughs> Second, no, third. Third new product that we're gonna feature in this channel is this one. This one is actually new. Like it launched really recently. I don't know exactly when. But I know it's recent. It's from the brand Acton Acre, which is, I think they specialize more in like your scalp health and all of that. But they just launched a curl line base. And I got, I got all three products from the curl line. Um, but today I wanted to test this one. This is the Acton Acre Cold Pressed Soft Curl. First of all, they got me with the color, baby. 
my favorite color in the whole entire world is green all shades of green anyways anyways this is a curl cream it says weightless curl cream that adds definition and hydration to waves and curls for a soft finish so yeah it's a curl cream oh this is cool and like the box it tells you like according to your hair type how many pumps of the product to use one to two pumps this is like one to two pumps for the whole hair okay then we're just gonna do one pump like for this let me just do one pump one full pump. There we go. This is what she looks like. She's quite fluid. Oh shit, I can't smell anything. Oh wow, I really can't smell anything. Ooh! How I finally found a product for my girlies who are sensitive to, wow, that is so lightweight. It disappeared from my hands. Okay, I'm just gonna start gliding it over. Wait, what the hell? It feels like I'm not putting anything on my hair. Hello? Where did the product go? I'm so confused. Let's do one more pump. Okay, I'm just, I'm not gonna like rub it that, that like roughly again because like it literally disappeared. Okay, so there's product in there. Let's just, just put it everywhere here. It literally feels like I put nothing on my hair. I'm just, I'm just brushing it through to, to see if I like feel it more dispersed on my hair. But when I tell you that I did, I cannot feel the product on my hair at all. This is so freaking weird. But I mean, there's some definition coming up. Like I don't, this is, this is a weird start. Um, let's add one more like half a pump and rake it in okay now it kind of feels like i at least have some product like i can it's adding slip to my hair which is what i want okay well you know it's applied so i can say i'm gonna add half a pump more to this other side well i mean it's applied and the definition is already like kind of coming up so it's okay it's good it's okay but just so you know if you are looking for like the most lightweight cream in the entire world you might want to try this one I don't know. Okay, third, no, fourth new product. We're gonna talk about this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the brand new Bread Hair Gel Curl Capturing Gloss. I was very excited to receive this and very excited to try it because this was, I mean, this is still the only product from Bread, from bread Beauty Supply that I have tried. I haven't tried anything else from them, but I've always felt like it's a brand that targets more uh, tighter curl patterns, it's like from 3C and up or 3B and up, but they decided to send it to me, knowing that I'm a wavy girl. So I guess they are suggesting that this would work for my curl type. I already tried it though, but this is not the first time I'm trying it. I tried it once for a video on TikTok. Go check it out if you want. Um, um, but I'm gonna try it again and see what results I get this time. Wait, and I wanna, I wanna like move this back. There we go, that's better. The last time I tried it, the result that I got was very soft hold. Oh, look at the, like the color. I love the color. Also, this one does smell. Like it has a very um, obvious scent. I don't know if the rest of their products also smell like this, but yeah, it's a very lightweight type of gel. It kind of also disappeared in my hands. Let me glide this shit. Like, I literally had to stand up. All right, this is how it looks like so far. Okay, and that's how it looks like freshly applied to my hair. Wow, I just noticed that I am putting on two very soft hold products today, which it's okay, it's fine, but I usually like not strong hold, but like medium hold. And both of these products are very soft hold. This is, these are very lightweight products. Holy shit, why did I do that to myself? But it's okay because there is a third styling product that we're gonna use that's gonna give us some hold. But first, I'm gonna go off camera, apply these two products to my upper sections. We'll be back. Okay. We're back. Product has been applied everywhere, officially. Okay, so final product that we're gonna put in this motherfucking hair, which why am I doing the most? I don't usually use um, three products. I've been, I've been on a roll of just using two, but we're trying new shit today. Anyways, this is the final product that we're gonna put on. Uh -huh. This is definitely not new, but it's new to me. That's all that matters in this channel. This is the Living Proof Flex Hairspray. And I know you might be thinking like, why are you gonna put like an aerosol on wet hair? That's fucking weird. Relax, I've done this before. I haven't done it on myself, but I did it on my boyfriend. If you follow me on Instagram, you already saw this video because everybody fucking loved it. I styled my boyfriend's wavy hair, which newsflash, that's new to me. My boyfriend does have wavy curly hair. 
It's the first time he ever leaves it this long. So we discovered that he does have curls. And I used this setting spray at the end of like his styling routine. And it added so much hold and it was so nice. So I was like, I should do that on myself. And that's what we're gonna do now. Oh, and, and, what does it say there? What does it say there? It has heat protection, which is a cool plus. All right, let's do this. Also, this smells really good. It smells kind of like baby powder. I'm gonna do another pass. There we go. Beautiful, gorgeous. We're done with the styling portion. Now it's time to... <coughs> I definitely inhaled some of that spray. Okay, now we're gonna diffuse Busty. And oh my God, ah, the time that we have all been waiting for. We're finally gonna try the shark blood style. Yeah. So if you're not new to this channel, you know that I have been a Dyson girly for a while now. My boyfriend got me the, um, the Dyson Supersonic for my birthday a couple of years ago, and I've never looked back. But listen, the competition is getting worse. And it's time to try new things, okay? Yeah. There we go, it opened, it opened. I can't believe I'm opening this shit on camera instead of like being a more responsible creator and just having it ready. This is how the whole entire product comes. Look at that diffuser attachment. Oh my God, it looks so cool. Since we're gonna diffuse, I just wanna take this out and just really look at it for a minute. Excuse me? Wait, I didn't know this. So look, you see the prongs, right? If you have short hair, you want your prongs to look like that, right? But if you have long hair, wait for it. They got longer. That is fucking genius. Also, this is very important. The prongs themselves have holes. So there's gonna be airflow coming through the prongs, not just like these baby little holes. This is key. And let's take out the actual baby. Oh God, the freaking cable. Okay, okay, all right, okay. We got it out. Okay, so in total, in the box, we have one, two, three, four, five attachments. So it includes the diffuser, which is one. It has two of these babies. I don't know why there's two. I don't know what's the difference between these two, but that'll be for a separate video. Today, we're focusing on diffuser. Then it has the classic round brush attachment and the even more classic, just the regular straight blow drying attachment. Okay. Let's plug this baby in. Let's turn this on. Ooh. I know it looks like a stick. I mean, this is a stick, but it turns into a blow dryer. This I already saw. I saw someone else do it, so I was like, huh? Okay, so it has this little thing, right? It has this little thing. It has this little thing. You push it down, and then you, and then you do this. And now it's a blow dryer, bitch. So it has another lock on the other side that you pull down and then you can take off your attachments. But to put it on, you don't have to actually press that little button. You just you just kind of like lock that shit in and that's it, baby, and that's it. It has, just like any other blow dryer, it has a three heat setting and a three speed setting. As per usual, I'm just gonna hover all over on high speed, high heat, and then, and then we'll carry on. Okay, wait, before I continue, immediately one of the first differences that I noticed between this and my Dyson, this is a lot more noisy. The Dyson noise is a little bit more muted, a little bit more toned down. This is quite loud. Anyways, let me do that, I'll be back. Okay, my roots are pretty much dry so I can start like scooping up hair. Uh, second a difference that I noticed between this and the Dyson, so even though it's, <laughs> I'm using high speed, high heat. This feels significantly less hotter and less powerful than the Dyson. I'm pretty sure this is gonna give me great results, but I wanna do a fair comparison because what the fuck? I can't say they're equals, okay? <laughs> okay, let me continue, carry on. Bueno. All right, we're done. Hair is dry. And before I even get into the next point that I wanna make, I wanna take back what I said about the heat comparison between this and the Dyson. So it does get hot. It does get really hot, like almost as hot as the Dyson, if not equally as hot. It's just that I was diffusing my hair with the prongs on the short option, I guess. So I couldn't really feel the heat on my roots as much as I feel it with the Dyson. But then I noticed and I was like, oh shit, no, let me put it on the long option the long prongs and once i opened up those prongs and kept on doing it 
I could really feel the heat on my roof. I was like, oh, never mind. But I still stand on the Dyson being more powerful. And the very last thing that I have to say about the blow dryer, the diffuser, I kind of love that it's shaped like this, kind of like a, what the fuck is it, like a flower? Having it like this, I don't know why, but the hair just tends to really get in there. It kind of like traps the hair. Does that make any fucking sense? I feel like if you've tried this, you know exactly what I mean. I love it so far. I have to keep using it, but let me know if you actually want a video just dedicated to me comparing the shark versus the Dyson. We can do like a side by side. We can even time how long it takes for my hair to dry. This time I didn't do it. I didn't really time it because it was my first time using it. I just wanted to see how it felt. I just wanted to see the vibes. All right, back to the hair. Hair is fully dry and very fluffy. I haven't added oil. I haven't even scrunched up the crunch because there's not that much crunch to scrunch. As I had already predicted, since I used two products that add very soft hold to my hair i wasn't expecting to end up with a cast or anything like that but i can still feel like the tiniest little crunch but it's due to the hairspray so thank god that i used this because if not i feel like my hair was gonna end up too soft and too fluffy and that's not what i like i am kind of obsessed with how bouncy and like full my hair looks today okay period period jesus these new bangs that i have now oh my god i never mentioned here on youtube that i got a haircut i'm telling you you need to follow me on instagram <laughs> if you want to see details of the haircut and the place where i got it please please go check out the video on my instagram or on my tiktok wherever bueno mi amor that was everything that's officially the end of today's new product try on i hope that was fun to watch and also informative and also entertaining i think i watched it was a success i don't think i will pair these products together again though because of the fact that my hair ended up being very fluffy and like again i don't hate it i like it it looks cute but I usually like a little bit more hold. But if you like soft hold, if this is what you're looking for, then this is a great combination. And I, if I was you, I would check out the new Acton Acre curl line because clearly, I mean, you're gonna get fluffy, beautiful, soft, bouncy results from it. Now, as for the brand new Shark, this is good. This is really nice. And as we all know, I mean, let's address the elephant in the room. It's significantly less expensive than the Dyson. And again, the Sephora sale is coming. So, you know, if you're looking for a styling tool, I mean, hello. And again, this is not just a blow dryer. This doubles as a curler and all types of shit. Look it up. I'm gonna link it down below. Again, hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of my results. Do you think they're cute? Do you think they're not? I don't know. Let me fucking know, girl. Have you tried any of these new products that I tried on today? Tell me your thoughts, baby girl. Also, please, please, please go follow me on Instagram at nemesismario6 and on TikTok at nemesismarie underscore 06. I'm way more consistent over there and I want to keep up with you and I want you to keep up with me. So like, go follow me there. But most importantly, girls, boys, gender non-binaries, please do me a favor have a great rest of your day bye